Hi everyone. Welcome to Playing with Clay. Um, I posted earlier today that I had the day off and I was going to try to do the review on this Quick Cure Clay. So I thought I would come on and show you guys what I've got and play around with this and see what we can come up with. So Ranger Clay, um, or Ra excuse me, Ranger Ink was gracious enough to send me uh, this Quick Cure Clay and also the heat gun to work um, to cure the clay. So this does not go in the oven. It is cured only by the tool gun, uh, which is to me a, a heat gun. Um, any kind of embossing tool, something like that. So that's great. I don't like um, baking polymer clay. So let's see what we can come up with. I've got some different mediums I thought I would try. I think what I'll do is just do one thing at a time and we'll see how it goes and this is going to be all experimental so there may be some wins and there may be some losses so let's see so i have just i have just opened this um and from everything i've read about this clay it does not um it does not dry out so apparently you can just use it you can sit it out it just stays out it won't um it won't harden at all so the one thing that I do notice when I first get it out is it's a little bit stickier uh, it's not it doesn't have the same feel as polymer clay um, it's more like the consistency of dough really like um, if you've ever worked with salt dough or if you ever worked with um, if you ever baked I guess if you ever made bread uh, biscuits, anything like that. It's kind of that same, it, it kind of feels the same way. It feels kind of moist. So let's see. So we're gonna take a little bit here. Um, and it, it, this is the only color it comes in. I don't know if they will eventually come up with a different color um, or different colors. So we'll just take a little bit. I'm gonna put this back in here. I did see where you're, uh, it's recommended that you wear gloves. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any gloves, so we're gonna we're gonna hope for the best and hope I don't uh, break out in any kind of crazy rash or anything um, anything that would cause issues. Hey everyone, take two. Um, my dog decided to bark at the neighbors um, and go crazy, so I'm gonna do this over again. So this is the Quick Cure Clay. Uh, I started kneading it. It's still, like I said, it's kind of sticky, a little bit moist. Um, so I'm gonna roll it in a ball. I'm gonna try to lay it down here. I'm gonna wipe this surface up. Um, if you've ever worked with paper clay, this is actually exactly what it feels like to me. Just to the T. Um, it is, it even has, if you look at it, it even has fibers. Um, it's, I know you can't see it on camera, but it's almost like um, little hair fibers that you would see, like if you were working with uh, paper clay. So that might be why they tell you to wear gloves um, with this stuff. But uh, again, I don't have any, so we're gonna take our chances and see what happens. So I'm gonna, spread this out <coughs> excuse me it has a it has some odor to it not um, not a lot you know not a lot of odor but it does have it, it definitely does have a smell to it if you're sensitive to to smells you know it may it's it's kind of a chemically smell I don't know how to describe it um, I just put a little bit of water on the roller just because I'm trying to get it not to stick. It seems like the more I'm playing with it, the more it is sticking. Um, so, you know, I'm not sure if you, you, you have a you have a time limit to play with it. I don't think so because from what they said, <coughs> excuse me, it will um, not dry out. So I think that's good. I'm going to, we're gonna to try to stamp this again. I'm gonna put a little bit of water on this stamp. <coughs> I apologize. 
allergies here. It's uh, it's really hot here. I'm on the um, coast in North Carolina and um, Surf City and it has been storming and so maybe that's why the clay is um, a little bit damp <coughs> and why my allergies are driving me crazy. So, all right, I'm gonna stamp this. Again, you don't have to put a lot of pressure on this um, because the clay is just so, um, it, it, it's soft. So if you, I guess, um, I don't know what everyone uses. I am, my favorite clay is Primo. And um, I don't like Sculpey 3. To me, it's too soft. I'm a little heavy handed. So I have to be careful um, about doing too much. So I'm trying to be very easy with this. And I'm just kind of going across it, feeling it, making sure it kind of feels evened out when I am stamping it. All right, let's see, voila. Oh, see, we have a little bit where it raised up a little bit, but I think we can, I think we can do something with that. I think it'll be all right. I just need to wash, I guess I'm gonna have to wash these stamps. I don't know how easy this is with uh, soap and water cleanup, so we'll see when I scrub them. It's gonna pat this a little bit. I'm gonna use this cutter. All right, I dipped it in a little bit of water. And uh, let's see if we can get Gonna go this way because I kind of want that top to be the thicker side if I if I'm looking at it correctly. Okay, now I just stamp it, just give it a little bit of a twist, and then release it so it releases okay with water. Um, again, I you can use um, it says you can use oil. Um, and I didn't, let me see, I didn't scrape this thing up first. But it seems to have come out okay. So there's some of those little hairs I was talking about. It's, uh, gosh, it's almost like, uh, it's, it's fibrous. I guess it's just part of the clay. But again, I think this clay is better suited for um, a natural look or with sculpting maybe. Um, I think it might do well if you're, if you're sculpting figures or um, you know, animals or anything along those lines. Because you can use this clay, you can uh, heat it up get it hard, and then you can actually, um, you can put more clay on top of it. So, uh, this looks okay. I'm not gonna say it looks wonderful. It's not my favorite. Um, just has, you know, a little, it has some raised places. It's not real even. I wouldn't put this in a, um, I don't think it will work well in a clay, in a pasta machine, because I think it's just too soft. So, let's see here. So what do you guys think so far? A yay or an A. All right, I'm gonna put this back in here. Get my little tool here, and I'm gonna 
Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna, I think I'll use these bales. And if I use these bales, I don't have to put a hole in this. So let's see. So I can make a necklace out of this. And all, uh, I almost want to do like a natural finish on here. Uh, but again, that's what we're here for. We're here to try it out, test it. Um, I don't know how much the camera picks up. But as you can see, pretty good texture. Uh, again, I can see these little fibers sticking out, uh, but you probably can't see that on the camera. So I think if we use these bales underneath, um, actually that probably won't work either because these bales are probably too big. The mount is too big for them. But you can buy bales, you know. Um, much smaller bales. Yep, so see that's gonna be, um, that's gonna be too, too wide for that. But again, we'll work it out, we'll figure it out. That's why it's called playing with clay. Experimenting, see how things work. I do notice as I'm touching it more and more, um, <laughs> It does have a tendency to um, to start spreading out and not having as much of a um, sharp edge to it. So I'm going to try to kind of help this along a little bit in this one section that doesn't seem to want to cooperate. So these are my little shaper tools. Um, I don't know if I have a smaller one. Here's one that's more of a pointed edge. So let's see. Let's see what happens with this. Again, my, my original idea was I wanted to do a journal cover. Um, and I'll show you that in a minute when I clean my hands off because I don't want to mess up my journal. Um, it's an art journal. So my idea was to do the entire cover of the art journal, but I don't think I have enough clay and I wanted to try so many different types of things. Um, so I'm going to do some smaller pieces and then if I decide to do a larger piece, um, I'll buy some more clay and do that. Um, I have not checked the price on this yet. Um, so if I, I'll go back and look and if I can find, if I can find it, I will put it in the links. Okay. So I think we are ready to bake this or heat it up. And um, I don't know, uh, I think we'll bake it, we'll do this this technique first where we just kind of bake it. So if you see this, like you see this stuff coming off? These, these are these fibers that I keep finding. Um, like, <laughs> it's almost like peeling paper off my hands. Huh, so um, now with paper, you know, I don't know with paper clay, um, I would have to do a comparison side by side. And this technique with curing it um, immediately versus paper clay, you know, has to dry. Paper clay, I like it. Sometimes it can have some shrinkage, a little, you may get a crack um, if it's, you know, if you're not working with it correctly, but I like paper clay a lot. And um, this, again, reminds me so much of it. So, all right, so from what I read, which I have not done this before, um, is you, you hold this heat gun at an angle, and you hold it, um, hold it at an angle here, and you are supposed to be able to see a demarcation line. 
Uh, and when that line starts, apparently you can let the heat, you can take it off the heat and you'll see it cure itself all the way through. So that's the uh, science in this clay, and uh, which is very, very cool. Um, let's see, let's, let's turn this on. We're gonna try this. I'm sure this is not gonna pick up on the camera, but we will see. Um, I'm gonna hold it at an angle like it tells me to. Now they did say, you may see, um, you'll see a puff of smoke. Um, so we're gonna see how that, how that works. And they said the puff of smoke is normal. Again, you guys are learning right along with me. So bear with me. So far, I don't smell anything. You know, it doesn't smell, um, doesn't smell like it's burning or it doesn't smell um, chemically or anything like that. So far, I'm not seeing a line. Um, I did see where this clay heats up to about three, 350 degrees. Now, I am starting to smell something now. Um, and it does look like it's curing on this edge. It may be, I don't see a line, um, because first of all, I'm blind as a bat, almost, um, without my reading glasses. And secondly, um, I don't have very good light in here, so that is not great. And I had to close the blind because Tala, Tala the Terror was uh, yelling her head off at the neighbors. So I haven't seen a puff of smoke. I don't know if you guys have, but I didn't see one. Um, I'm scared to touch it. Oh, okay, but you know what? It's hard. So let's turn this off. I think it did its job. I think I missed, um, I must have missed something. Um, I do smell it a little bit. You can hear that, it's hard. So I'm gonna pick this up, not with my hands, and I'm gonna put it in this water. So they said, you know, it can go in the water, it's not a big deal, um, and then you let it cool. Um, again, it's a chemical reaction that causes um, the clay to basically heat up and cook by itself. Um, so I don't know how long it takes for it to, oh, okay, it's, Okay, it, it feels done. So we're gonna take this out. Um, I'm gonna drop it like they did on the video. So it is hard. They said it's almost, you know, it's very hard to, um, to break. All right, let me get another. So my tile is hot. I'm trying to get this off my hands. Clean this up a little bit. So again, I think you can use any kind of uh, any kind of medium on it. You can use paint. You can use alcohol ink. Um, I think I, what I wanted to try. I actually had some um, some foil. Um, I don't, I'm not going to try it on that. I'm going to, this, I need, I think a more organic piece would do well, um, with that. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit, clean up the workspace. So the back, um, again, you know, it's, it's not the prettiest back, but, um, that's why I said, I think this is more, this would be better for more organic type, um, 
clay work. So we'll see. All right, let's clean the tile. Tile is still hot, by the way. This is just a tile I get from Lowe's. So I will say on my hands, um, it seems a bit irritating, um, those fibers. I don't know if that's fiberglass that's in there. Um, but again, my own fault for not using gloves, I should have. So I recommend wear gloves if you're sensitive. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's not painful at all. I'm going to dip my hands in this water and see if I can get some of this off. Another wipe. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to dry this with that heat gun again. Oh, I have made a mess. God, this clay is kind of messy. So I'm just going to dry it, just get the, the moisture off of it um, from the water where I dipped it in the water. But like I said, it's very, it's very hard. And as you saw, it only took, um, probably I held it on there less than a minute to, to get it, um, to get it to completely cure. So that's great. That's awesome. So it's, it's warm. I can touch it. Um. So I did, let's see, I did grab just an emery board in case I needed it just to, I'm just going to see how this works. If I, you know, if I just wanted to round it out, sand it up a little bit, let me see how it would do. So again, I'm, you know, I, I feel like I see these, the fibers. But they seem to be coming off um, as I use this emery board. Not sure, like I said, if you guys can see that or not. These these little fibers that are on here. got a um, almost like a stone texture um, not not smooth I just want to see how it would how it did um, if you sanded it I'm sure you could sand it um, more get some fine um, grit sandpaper and work through that. Okay. So again, I don't know if you could see those little fibers that came off. Okay. So now, what do we do with this piece? Um, I am literally flying by the seat of my pants. I have no idea. Um, I have no game plan in place. I work better on the fly, so we'll see how this, <laughs> see what we're gonna do. Um, I did pull out, um, so I moved last year, um, and I lived in the central part of North Carolina. I still have a house there. 
and um, a lot of my craft supplies are still um, there. So hopefully I'll have some of those this weekend. Um, my, like all my alcohol ink is there. So uh, my boyfriend's gonna bring that down here to um, the beach and hopefully I can do some more reviews and do, you know, play around with some things. So um, I did get, I brought some, um, I have some like metallics um, and some, I have some color shift, which I thought may work well. Um, I don't know as far as, let's see, I had some black paint. Um, I don't know about painting it first and then doing the metallics, um, just because it's such a light color. I don't know. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is, I think I'll just paint the back first. We'll just do a little experiment on the back. Let me grab a paintbrush real quick. I don't know if you've ever worked with these uh, metallics or the color shift. I, the color shift is really, really cool. Um, gives that iridescent look to it. It's uh, very neat, very neat product. So my paint is, let's see what we've got here. So I'm just gonna paint it. Just gonna paint the back. We're just gonna see how this works, how it looks. Um, this is a no judgment zone. Cause again, we're just playing around, we're experimenting. Um, so this is, this is cheap, just cheap acrylic paint. So it's giving it kind of a, um, kind of a charcoal gray um, color shade with one coat. I'm not being overly generous with it. Just wanna see what it's gonna look like when we get it on here. Actually, I think that kind of helps that. It kind of helps break up that uh, organic look a little bit. Uh, so we'll see. So let's see. Let's try some, uh, let's try to heat this up again and get it dried off quickly. Kind of looks like black stone. As you can see, know how well you can see that. Okay. All right, so now let's play around with some paint. Some color shift paint to be exact. Oh, I think those are the same colors. All right. I'll put the metallic back. We'll try the metallic later. I'm gonna shake these up a little bit. Because they have been sitting for quite a while with no attention. Been very busy. I've not had a whole lot of time. Been doing uh, some crocheting, so. 
Okay, so I think I'm gonna do all this just with my fingers. Um, just see what we come up with. Hopefully I won't spill paint everywhere. All right, so let me see. Let me get some pink out. So I'm just gonna start dabbing this around. Get some blue. Kind of the same thing, just kind of experimenting, just dabbing it around. I want to see how this back does before I mess with the front at all. Paint's a little thick. Yellow is dominant. It's gonna just pat it a little bit, see if I can get some of that yellow off. Yellow is not my favorite. All right. So it seems like the, the wipes, um, it's some of the fibers are coming off from the wipes. So we're not gonna do that anymore. We'll use the wipes. I don't know if I have any paper towels or not up here, upstairs. So I'm not sure how I feel about this. Um, again, it's, it's very organic looking. Um, you know, I guess if you're going for the stone look, uh, this would be it. I don't know if you can see that. Let's dry this and see what it looks like when it comes in as dry. Now I'm almost thinking that I should have stuck with the uh, with the non-painted um, and let the color come through that way. In other words, not painting it black first. Kind of cool though. Um, like I said, it's very hard to see um, on camera. This definitely has a metallic uh, look and you can kind of see all the colors coming through um, that we put on there. So on this side, I'm gonna do it without, I'm not putting any more yellow. I didn't like the yellow. Um, so here, since this has texture, I just wanna see what it looks like if I just kinda of rub over the texture. Kinda of what it, kinda of look it gives. So it seems to pick up the, the color very well. Pretty vibrant. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I'm 
just barely running it over the surface because I don't want to get down into the, I don't, I don't want to put it all the way through to the entire texture. I just kind of want it to highlight. So just being very, very easy with it. Okay. So again, this is our experimental piece. I'm gonna put, uh, just gonna put a little bit of color around the edges. Just uh, here and there, so it just kind of break up that line. No rhyme or reason, just picking up, putting it in different areas. Sorry if I am out of frame. So that actually is kind of cool. I don't know if you can see that. Um, again, it's kind of hard to see kind of the depth and um, kind of the way it looks. But again, it still has that organic look to it um, as where polymer clay, you know, I think you're gonna have more of a, um, it, it's, it, it's a cleaner, cleaner look. Um, but I like the organic. They both have their place. Putting a little more blue on here. Um, I'm breaking up these colors on the side a little bit. Sorry, the dog pounds at it again. Okay. So I will tell you, um, I can feel these little fibers and I'm gonna wash my hands really well, scrub them and see if I can get these. Uh, it's almost like fiberglass. Um, have you ever had fiberglass get on your skin? Um, it's, it's very, ir it's stingy, like irritating feeling. Okay, so let's dry this a little bit.
So as you can see, this is what it looks like. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Might be too close. Again, even though it's got a texture, it's you can still tell it has that organic look to it. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to use, this is still really hot. Um, I'm gonna try to use some magic gloss, which is gonna give it kind of a resin look, um, kind of a um, glossy accents. And um, I, I did ask a question um, about what, what you can put on this as far as sealing it or a gloss or a glaze. And um, pretty much everyone that came back said, you know, you can use anything. Um, it seems to do well. So, you know, with polymer clay, again, you have to be very careful. Um, when I first started doing clay, oh gosh, 20, 20 plus years ago now, um, you know, I had to learn the hard way sometimes as to what what worked best with polymer clay. Um, I had a few sticky pieces uh, and that I had to throw away. And, you know, you, you just kind of learn what to use. And um, I know the glossy accents work. And, um, you know, a lot of times I used to use uh, Future Wax which I don't even think they make that anymore, um, by the way. <laughs> so I'm not sure, but um, I haven't seen it. And, um, you know, there's, there's just several other products on the market that work well with polymer clay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this out, see how this, see how this looks uh, with the glossy accents. And uh, you're not supposed to shake this, which is what I was sitting there doing. And um, so let's see, let's just try it and see what happens. Again, I'm gonna let it sit. Um, I'll take a picture of the final product. I'm not, probably not gonna put it, you know, make it a necklace or anything, but um, I just wanna see how it holds up. I wanna see um, you know, I might, might even stick it in my pocketbook and by sticking it in my pocketbook after I put the glossy accents on, I'm going to see how well it does hold up because I'm pretty rough on my pocketbook. Um, so, but again, it's, it's hard. It is not, uh, I mean, it is not breaking off at all. So, Okay. All right, so I'm going to start in the middle here. Just going to kind of go in circles. Kind of go around here to the edge. going to put it on thick because like I said I want to see I just want to see how it holds up I'm sorry the dogs are annoying I just ignore them I don't even hear them but I'm sure you can and I, I apologize They're just so cute. I'll post some pictures of the monsters uh, when I do the video so you can see what I'm dealing with over here. I said it's like the dog pound I've got. Uh, got my two dogs um, and my daughter's and uh, her fiance's 
two dogs. So yeah, we have a house full. And then when my boyfriend comes down, um, there's another one. So, sorry, my daughter's three dogs and her fiance. So we have five dogs in the house. It's a lot of dogs. My two are big, big dogs. But I wouldn't trade them for the world. I have some um, UV resin packed up somewhere. I thought that would be good to try as well. See how that does. All right, so I'm gonna hold this up a little bit. I don't wanna move it around. I just wanna get it heated up so it starts curing. I don't know how everyone feels about their glaze. Um, but again, I think this is a little more, a um, little easier, this clay. You can use a lot more with it than you can with polymer clay. So just give it a try and see, see what works best for you. I don't think this is gonna dry um, quickly but I kind of want to get it started. And like I said, I wanted to kind of do a thick coat because I want to see, I want to see how it sets up. So I'm sure you don't want to sit here and watch uh, watch this dry, um, but I do want to say thank you, thank you for watching, thank you for um, joining in, and for all of the um, members of Playing with Clay, I really do appreciate your support. Uh, that started out, gosh, I can't remember when I um, started that group. Um, but it was maybe 2012, I can't remember, but you know, we are, um, I think we're at five, right at 5,000 members, maybe more than that now, I apologize, I don't know, um, but I do want to thank you, everyone has been wonderful on the page, um, I do try to catch any nonsense, and I actually posted about this um, maybe last week. And, you know, I can't see every comment that's made, but I will say that being a member of many, many groups on Facebook, I don't see a lot of the people on our page um, being nasty or mean or judgmental. Um, everyone seems very supportive and again I want to say thank you for that that means a lot um, because I will say if if I do catch someone being rude um, please or if you catch someone let me know because they will be booted out um, we have a zero tolerance policy on this page if you can't be nice you have to go and you go somewhere else and be mean and um, it's just not gonna be tolerated. So again, thanks everyone for your support. Um, thank you again, Ranger Inc. for supplying this clay. I really do appreciate it. Um, I do wanna do some more um, over the next few days. Hopefully tomorrow's the fourth, so not sure what I'm doing tomorrow, but 
Um, I'll try to jump on here and hopefully it won't be as long of a tutorial. Um, but again, check it out, Ranger, rangerinc.com. Um, and I, again, I will try to go look up the pricing on the clay and I'll try to put a link to it. But um, anyway, thank you and happy claying. Bye-bye.